What's up guys? Tooth here for Super Red. Welcome back to another episode of Game Grips. Uh, sorry this one took so long. I think this one took about a month to get out. But I think it's going to be well worth the wait because I picked up my greatest video game haul of all time. I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to top this. This one is just nuts. So I'm super excited for this episode. And like I said, hopefully it'll be worth the wait. Uh, a little backstory. Uh, I talked to this guy just using Craigslist as usual. Uh, he had an Atari for 50 bucks, uh, 2600 had some games and some paddles and all that, and I was like, okay, cool, uh, I'll pick it up, you know. He actually saw one of my other ads that I listed, I was selling like an acoustic guitar for 75 bucks or something. So he's like, well, how about we just trade, you know, give me the guitar, I'll give you all my Atari stuff or whatever. I was like, alright, cool, sounds good. Go to meet up with him, he hands me this huge ass box, and I see an Atari 2600, tons of paddles, and just like, uh, I see some games, so I was like, uh, okay, yeah, totally, that sounds great. And, um, well, you'll see what I actually got. Because <laughs> this box went pretty deep, and it, I came up on my biggest score ever. So, let's just get right into it. Uh, first, I'm going to go through the games, and then I'll show you the, the best part. So, alright, first of all, Donkey Kong, classic. I actually got doubles of it. Awesome also because made by Coleco and then obviously Nintendo, so it's a weird cart, you know. And Missile Command, absolute classic. Everyone needs a copy of that. Donkey Kong. Adventures of Tron, never played it. And this is cool because these are these were made by Mattel, these cartridges. So they're licensed, but they look obviously way different. So it's really cool to get some of these. Star Master. And when I was going through, I went through uh, a site I use called rarityguide.com just to see, you know, the prices or anything's common or uncommon. And this one didn't come up. So I don't know if this one is rare, uncommon, common. I have no idea. So, yeah, Star Master by Activision. We got Space Cavern. This one's in really rough shape. It's like snapped right here. So hopefully it plays. Whatever. Awesome art. Pull position. Another classic. Combat. So a lot of these are really common ones. Bowling. Slot racers. Just great because I didn't have a 2600. I used to have one, but I lost it in like a move or whatever. So, so excited to get a 2600 again. And then, the amount of stuff I got with it, just very, very excited. Sword Quest Earthworld. Got doubles of that. Mega Mania. Firefighter. This is another kind of cool one. This is made by a company called uh, Magic. And kind of funky design. A lot of these games were... <laughs> they're pretty dusty. Uh, I got clean all of them. But I just wanted to you know, make the video to show you all the cool stuff I got. Um, turns out the Atari was the guy's from when he was little. So he just had it and threw it in his attic. So all this stuff, like I said, is pretty dusty. But it's cool that, you know, an original one from back in the day or whatever. Uh, this is an uncommon game, No Escape. This one goes for like around 15, so that's cool. Another magic. Star Raiders. A lot of these I haven't played, so I can't really comment on. This is, yeah, a couple of them, the labels came off in the bottom of the box. I think this is Tank Plus. Video Olympics. video pinball as you can see just the sheer amount of games <laughs> that just the games alone I would have paid $50 for so <laughs> Pac-Man got doubles that too Sword Quest Fire World another absolute classic and essential joust Um, I think this is Outer Space, the uh, label came off. Uh, 
uh, another copy of Sword Quest Earthworld. This is cool. Demon Attack, but two different covers. I think this one is a revised one. I think it says on here, yeah, I think it says uh, revised B, so I'm guessing this is the revised cover. So that's really rad to have two different uh, labels. So, And also, if you ever see a demon attack that's blue and white, yeah, pick it up because it's worth like $900. Maybe even more. So I thought I got one of them because I, I know that there's two different versions or whatever, and I was like, oh man, maybe I got it. <laughs> yeah. Everyone has to have this game too. Come on, Space Invaders. Got doubles of that. This is a more common one, like with the art. That one's the Atari one, and this one's the Sears one. No difference, just different labels. Yars Revenge. Awesome game, definitely recommend it, very addicting. This is another uncommon game, this is made by US Games, uh, Squeezebox. It's got a different label as most of them, as you can see. So that's cool. Home Run. Cosmic Arc. Sounds crazy. Spider Fighter. Warlords. Pretty epic cover. <laughs> oh, this is a really cool cover, too. Midnight Magic. Looks like some space pinball or something, but I don't know. I really like the cover on that one. Yeah. The Official Carnival by Sega. Sega was making Atari games, and this was 80, 82, and Coleco. So you got Sega and Nintendo, Coleco, and Atari all <laughs> combining on games. It's pretty cool. Target fun. That was another cool one. Word Zapper. This is made by VidTech, and it looks like a multi-card or something. It says 24 game variations. So it's really cool. Frogs and Flies. Sounds pretty funky. Armor Ambush. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> Chopper Command. Oh, this one I was really excited about because it is a mystery card. Nothing on it, no label. Um, Parker Brothers is the only thing to identify it, so I'm guessing it's probably Frogger. Uh, worst case scenario, yeah, it's Frogger. I don't have a copy of it. Best case scenario, it's the rarest Parker Brothers game they made, so... I don't know, as soon as I boot up uh, the Atari, this is the first thing that's going in there. Definitely, definitely excited about that. Love mystery cards. Gunslinger. Indy 500. Haunted House, which also has probably the coolest art for an Atari game in my opinion. Hopefully it'll focus. Yeah, super into that. International Soccer. Yeah, a lot of these are just really dirty, but I'm hoping they will play. But I'm sure once I clean them out, they'll be good to go. Another Pac-Man. Grand Prix. Played this game so much when I was little. Love this game. First video game I ever played with my dad when he had a 2600 back in the day. Asteroids. One of my favorite games ever made. Can't even tell you how many hours I jammed on this when I was little. Love this game. First game I ever played in the arcade even before Pac-Man. Breakout. Love this game. This one's kind of, you hear that? So, hopefully it plays. But it's breakout, it's not rare. Pick that up for a couple bucks, so. Circus Atari. Ah, another one, I, keep, I know I keep saying it, but another one of my favorite games. Uh, I used to play this all the time in the arcade on the cocktail uh, style uh, arcade machines. 
That's Dig Dog. Awesome to have the original. I have it for NES, but get the original Atari one. Very cool. Othello. I have that for NES too. It's pretty fun. Phoenix. Atlantis. Now, if you ever see a copy of Atlantis and there's a sticker that says Atlantis 2 on it, pick it up because it's worth about $10,000. Uh, it was like a special promo or something, or I think it was maybe made for a tournament. So I was like, I was looking at this, I was looking all over it, I was like, oh, maybe it's got the sticker. Nah. It's alright, I heard it's a pretty fun game anyway, so. Another copy of Video Olympics. This one's different. I don't know if it's the same one, but there's no label on it, so I'll have to check it out. Space Attack. Jeez, we're in that room. Uh, lock and Chase. This is cool because it says Daddy East on it, and it's clearly just a sticker over another one, like uh, over the game, like whatever the other original game is. Because it says Mattel on the back, but Daddy East on the sticker, so hopefully the camera will focus so you can see how it's just bootleg how companies used to do that back in the day. So that's pretty cool. And, okay, we got a couple more. Got Astro Blast. Got Super Challenge Football. <laughs> Don't fall. And Space Attack. And I think that's all the games. So, that right there, without even telling me, he gave me, you know, with the Atari and all the other stuff, 62 games. 62. 62 games. <laughs> I mean, less than a buck a game already, just if I would have paid the 50 bucks, you know? Like, technically, I gave him $25, I guess, because I was selling, uh, you know, the guitar for 75 or whatever. He wanted 50. Um, yeah. That, just for the games alone, I had obviously would have given him $50. So, we're not even close to being done yet, though, guys. <laughs> so, let's get into the rest of it. Also in the box, those manuals for Space Attack and Video Olympics. The original Atari Power Adapter box. Really cool. That is the uh, official one. It's really neat. Love stuff like that. Got some more manuals. Manual for Freeway, which I don't even think, I don't even think I got Freeway the game, but hey, whatever. Pac-Man, killer. Got, oh, this is like a, a service ad for your Atari's messing up or something. Love stuff like this. Circus Atari. So I think that's it for the manuals. Let's go into what else I got. So it came with a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of paddles. So I'll be selling doubles once I make sure they all work and whatnot. So first one is just a normal one made by Kraft. Hopefully it's the same macaroni and cheese one. There's a button right there. Oh, they're all tangled, of course. Ugh, come off. There we go. <laughs> Got the Atari licensed tennis paddles. Two player, but only one out, which is really weird. Never seen another company or anything like, anything like that. Really strange. Must be like an Atari thing, I guess. So, it's cool. Two player. Sears. This is the same thing, except this one's made by Sears. So, two player, and then one out. So, worst case scenario, one doesn't work, and one does work. Well, I guess worst case scenario, they both don't work, but I'm hoping one of them, at least one of them works. So, 
Got another paddle. This one's by Gem Sticks. Not licensed by Atari or anything. I don't know if this one works though because it has some, this ends duct taped. But I don't know. It's got another out on it. But I don't know. Gotta check it out. Oh, just your normal Atari pad. Got a couple of those. Got the Atari licensed driving pad. This one goes left to right and then click around the side. Got a couple of those too. Another driver. So yeah, like I said, I'll probably sell them or, I don't know. When we have another contest or whatever, throw them in along with the doubles. So Hopefully there's some uh, 2600 guys out there. Uh, another driving one. I think, okay, yeah, besides, and then last but not least, is the Atari Touchpad. Which is really cool, you put overlays over it, and then the overlay tells you what buttons do which. So, this is cool because I never really see it. I don't think it's really rare or anything, I just never see it, so, cool to hit. So, without counting, I think that was like, what, like eight or nine paddles? <laughs> so, I mean, threw those in too, it's awesome. An official adapter that goes in that box I showed you. This is really awesome. This is the owner's manual for the Atari 2600. And it's got all the pages. There's not really any discoloring or anything. It looks really good for its age. Very excited about that. And just the UHV to go into the TV. Which sucks because I actually have to get an adapter because it's coaxial and I don't have an old TV anymore. I got a new one, so it's retro gaming problems right there, 101. Bummer. That's the only reason I've been testing this thing out. And last, second to last, but not least, the Atari 2600 itself. It's pretty dusty, it's in kind of rough shape, but uh, all the switches work, so that's good. Gotta clean it up, but still really awesome. Got a classic wood grain. Awesome. There's one more thing. One more thing. Certain least last but not least. Oh no, it's not in here. It's because it's right here. He didn't tell me about it when I saw the ad, and when I saw this thing on top, I freaked out. This is why, besides you know. This is my greatest haul, you know, the games, all the paddles, the Atari, you know, but just getting this with it, the original box, <laughs> so excited, it is in amazing shape as you can see from, was it 1979, 1980, this thing is pretty much immaculate, it's in great, great shape. Uh, there's a couple holes back here, but... I'm not complaining. Just pointing out that it's not meant, but it's damn, damn near close. You know what I mean? So to get the Atari 2600 complete in box, I mean, so so cool. I don't even have a box for my Nintendo, and that's my favorite system of all time. Um, uh, this is definitely my greatest haul. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to top it. 62 games. What are eight or nine paddles, um, tons of manuals, the system, the original box. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a happy camper. So yeah, let me know what your guys' greatest hauls are, or ever were, you know, or if you're still hunting for your greatest haul in the comments below. And uh, sorry, this one again took so long. I think this one took like a month to get out. So yeah. Uh, if you guys didn't know, you guys can check out our old episodes of Game Grips over up at geekrevolt.com. They've been nice enough to let us post videos over there, so that's really cool of them. Uh, this one will be going up there as well. And the Super Rat Podcast is back. And goofy and uh, as insane as ever. <laughs> you can check it over at superrad.podbean.com. You can download it over there, so go do that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and good luck hunting out there. Hopefully you guys get a crazy grip, too. 
And uh, as always, get red, stay red. Hey guys, I just want to spread out the entire thing so you can see how much it actually, how big it is with all the stuff. So, 2600. And then all the games. All of the century. Oh yeah, and then all the paddles in a pile on the ground. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys.